What's that? C2000. We've rigged probably like millions of pounds of wood off of these. Yeah. We've been using these for a long time and they're really smooth with up to like a 5 8 rope, which is one of my favorite ropes to use. It's just not quite, it's, it's big enough to really get stuff done, but it's not so big that it doesn't run smoothly through most. Uh, oh, yeah setups so three quarter can get a little bit hard to get moving unless you're dealing with like really really big wood 5h just has always yeah. seemed it's good for this barrel cleaner. size yeah this is a good size here. this is good for half inch too um, nine sixteenths and we're gonna use a set of rings up there for now available at monkeybeaver.com the ring Correct. sling combo Correct. made by none other than Mr. Smiley. <laughs> this is a little combo kit. It's two, two straight ring slings, a short one and a long one. And you can use them independently in the canopy, wherever you want. You can use one of them. You can hook them together like this with a blade hitch and make yourself a nice little adjustable sling for rigging with two rings on it. You can do a bunch with it. It's just a long and a short. Ring sling, straight, straight sling. Blake Hitch still has uses in yeah. our industry, yes. Yeah, we've been using one, these setups. This one hasn't been used, obviously, but me and Damien and Jeff have both, or all three had a set like yep. this, and we probably use it more than anything else. It's like, it's just really useful. You can do all kinds of stuff with it, and you can negative rig stuff with it up to, you know, Within reason, 20 inches or something. Easy to adjust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Within reason. Within, Within reason. reason. Yeah. It. The, it can get pitch in it. The blade hitch it. can. The, the blade hitch is way shorter than like here is a whoopee sling, right? So you can actually get the sling really, really short. Yeah. And also, when the sling gets all ratty and pitchy, this is easy. You can just kind of loosen it up a little bit where the whoopee sling can get a little bit difficult to work with once it gets really dirty or kind of ratty. And make sure the blake hitch is on there the right way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, Don't ask me how I know. These are like, I wouldn't say this is advanced rigging, but you could do it wrong <laughs> for sure. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, we're going to have these. We're going to have just straight eye slings with an eye or a ring. We're going to have whoopee slings. We'll have um you know half inch five eighths three quarter uh the way we're sizing them is really simple it's just going to be a number two sling will be for up to two foot diameter trunks number three will be up to three foot number four will be up to four we'll have like the actual lengths of them somewhere but it'll be an easy easy choice to make super clever yeah, and you're wearing a Monkey Beaver 2.0, and you're using a Uni. Yep. Anything else? You got the shim beaner going. Yeah, I like this big shim beaner. What kind of spurs are those? <coughs> these are distal carbon. Distal carbon. Like probably eight years or something. These are the old ones that are not adjustable. Uh-huh. Looks like you made your own custom uh, foot straps for it. I did. Yep. And we might use this, the safe block, but we don't sell that at monkeybeaver.com yet. But still, it's, it's pretty handy nice sometimes. Work. Yeah. All right, well, get up there, I guess. <laughs> yeah, don't be like that, for? Blake. Don't be like that whoopee sling and get hard to work with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What rope are we going to use? Half inch? Tell... What, what rigging line are we going to use? Yeah, half inch husky bull rope. Half inch husky bull rope from All Gear. You see us using it all the time, but we'll be using yeah. it again today. 
And we have the five eights here also. I don't know if we'll use it. Probably not. Yeah. Maybe when we maybe when we get down a little bit. It's. Um, I haven't used the half inch a ton, but I've used the five. I've, in fact, the five eights I have here. <coughs> the first day I used it was the first day Damien worked, like however many years ago that was, and I've rigged again a million pounds off of the. Yeah, no. Don't listen to him, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Re replace your rope once a month and get it from <laughs> monkeybeaver.com. Don't replace it unless, unless you cut it. <laughs> yeah. More than halfway through. Yeah. The second it starts getting dirty, you're going to want to order another one from monkeybeaver.com. <laughs> Just like when your ashtray fills up on your car. <laughs> Time for a new one. You know how that is. A new car? <laughs> Time for a new car? Or new Time video? for a new car. Uh, we yeah, that's container fills. All right, so uh, we make this stuff at monkeybeaver.com. Is so now we're going to show you how how to use it. I like to just pull me out a little more slack than I had last time. Whip this thing around. Whoops. Look at that, perfect. I know I shouldn't be using the carabiner like this, but it is a 14K in, or sorry, not 14, 70K in. And I'm staying roped in, so. about got her maxed out here all right this is the number two sling see we're probably just a little over two feet you get that about as max as you could go like this you could separate it and do a, a running bow in on the long one and probably go quite a bit bigger but I don't know why you'd want to unless you were just doing some overhead rigging Send me up, send me up that safe block. This is a little trick I've been doing for quite a while. Sometimes you'll have your ring or your safe block get pinched against the tree and it'll foul your rope up. If you just take a, a loose ring, this is just loose. I just have it on the throat of the sling and you put it there where it chokes. First of all, it allows this to tighten up on the tree a lot easier because there's less friction. And second, it always keeps the safe block, or you could have rings here, about an inch away from the tree. You can't really get any closer than that, and you don't foul your rope up very often. It's a cheap trick, or maybe not cheap. How much are those rings? 70 bucks or something? It's a trick. <clears throat> it's cheap when you have a big log stuck in the air. Put it that way. <laughs> You'll have to speak up. To start, we have a three quarter inch dead ice thing. We're going to see what this one is set up to go around. This will be for setting up your quarter wrap. Take it around, girth hit your quarter wrap or a block or anything you want onto that. And then five wraps around the back. For the timber hitch. I'll have a timber hitch. Show them a couple of, just in case they don't know. See what we're talking about here? 
One. One. Two. two. Three. Four. And five. And now you're ready to drop the world on that thing. Yep. Okay. Yep. So that's a two. This is a two. This this will give you a timber hitch. Yeah, a right. safe tim timber hitch, it not a pretty, dodgy one. Yes. So they, they are plenty long. So you could really, you could probably push this up to a three foot for the running bowing. Mm-hmm. Right. You'd have just enough. Yeah. I would recommend going to the next size up. Yeah. Um. So that's. The straight ice sling, straight ice sling. Here is a whoopie sling, adjustable sling. That's the one we're using today. Yeah. So this is, this is kind of an in-between size. This would be like a number 3.5 right now. Mm -hmm. So. Does Evan have the stuff on our website yet? Not yet, but it's ready to be on there. Well, and so by the time this video is up, it'll be on. Yeah, I've got two videos in front of this one. Yeah, yeah. So this is three quarter. Um, we've been breaking, slicing and breaking. We've been breaking this stuff at about 30,000 pounds. Yes. Which, it's rated at about 21, but it's yeah. been pushing 30 with a really good splice with a good taper. Yeah. Um, this is five eighths. It's rated at 16. We've been hitting 21-ish, which is what this stuff's rated at. So, so all gear, good job. Your yeah. rigging rope is legit. Let's see. Okay. Let's see here. Here's a five-eighths whoopee sling. Five-eighths whoopee sling. This would be also a number two sling. We go a little more than two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then there's still a little. That's the ring sling. Up too. We'll have ring slings. And then down to eye slings for using blocks and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so then we'll have them just like this with the ring inside. Yeah, here's another 5 eighths. The next ring. size up? No, that's just an eye sling. Okay. Um, here, be, here is like a block or a number two adjustable eye sling. You can see we have a working load on there. Luckily we have some big machines so we can do some nice big, feel that, nice big stitching on the end. And we're trying to make them look good too. We can get some color coordinated whipping here. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Um, and then you saw the other ones we were using today, the kind of the we call it the combo sling. It's the two. I think it might be in my truck. Oh, where is that? It might be nice too. We also have new rope bags at monkeybeaver.com that we're making. Yeah, that's it in its <clears throat> adjustable sling configuration. This is this is a sling that you can use a bunch of different ways right now. It's set up. You throw that one up there. Yeah. We also make wedding cakes. Yeah. Nice commentary. They yeah. have a lot of cellulose in them. You know, when I, when I was working on this, I was down at the bottom of your driveway, and that's what uh, Heather said when she drove by is, making a wedding cake? Man, I married her once and she's still dreaming of it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Anyway. This is an adjustable with a blank hitch. This is a two ring adjustable sling. Two ring adjustable sling, but not for the Mondo huge stuff. Um, this can be used in a different way. Yeah, you can just pop it apart. Yeah. It's just a long and a short swing. Which this is my favorite thing because 
I would take these and then bring them up into the tree and you can either use it on something big or split it in half yeah. and do one ring up here and another Spread ring down here to the help. Canopy. You got a short sling and a long sling. Yeah. You can be resourceful. And then with the long sling, you know, with the other configuration, it wouldn't fit around no. the three. It would be twice as strong, but, but it wouldn't fit around. That's the two. Oh yeah, the, the two, but... Yeah, but you can if you do it like that. In this yeah. way, if you're just rigging some stuff, you can go around branches in the tree like that really well. Yeah. Um, that's that's kind of my style. Yeah. Could do something. I mean, you can use it too, I guess. Or when I've had them and they're a little too long, like what I've, I've done is, or if you wanted to like whip and tackle, you could put this on the piece like this. And then, I mean, if it was, depend on why you would do it, but you could go down and then do another half hitch around, you know, have it coming out. Yeah. Like this basically. Mm-hmm. So this one would be backing up the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can do, I mean, you get it up in the top of the maple or something, you got enough to go around There's, it. Yeah. There's no end spots. to the ways They're you super can. Useful. We've been using them for a while. You know, or you or you choke this up. It does require them to know how to tie a blade hitch, though. If yeah, you use it that way. Yeah. You can also, I mean, you, you could do this with any sling too, but you can also make a little adjustable one out of one. And actually, you could do this with an eye an eye sling or any any single ring sling. So you can just do a blade hitch here, and then, right, you can take up your slack. And then it, mm -hmm. it works like a whoopee. Yeah. Yeah, similar. Or a top line hitch. Just, just as far as the adjustability goes. So yeah, so that, combination there probably has the most versatility so yeah it'll be th this is a separate thing the little combo sling will sell but the, the rest of them will be either eye slings or ring slings with enough length to do two three four foot diameters mm -hmm. and they will be either dead eye slings or they will be adjustable eye slings now are we going to do custom orders yeah yeah, What's the best way just, for... Uh, don't use the website, just call and talk to somebody or email. And um, if you want something with multiple rings or something a ridiculous length or bigger, we're probably going to stock uh, half inch, five eighths and three quarter, but there's no reason we can't do one inch. We'll probably keep some on hand. We probably won't keep them spliced up. We'll probably just keep some material on hand for some big slings. So what they're saying is we do splicing now. There, there's so many, so many things you could do that it's, it's a waste of time trying to get everything on the website and just overly complicate it. So but we'll hit, everything we'll they could the need on there. actually will yeah. be there. Yeah. yeah, the basics will all be there along with lowering devices, several sizes and rigging rope, several sizes. Talk about the rope bags. Yeah, and we got some new rope bags. These are pretty, Pretty sturdy bucket bags, you know. Um, this one will hold half inch rigging line. You can put 200 in there, no problem. Um, this one will hold 200 feet of 5 inch rigging line, no problem. I haven't put three quarter in this one yet, but I think it'll be pretty close. You can really put almost 300 if you just cram it at the top, but if you want to like drawstring these up, they. Just throw some junk in here real quick. But if you wanna, they have a big rope drawstring. Dang, you just tied your shoes. Look at that. This kind of makes a nice little handle. It's got, still leaves room for the rope to come out. Um, it's got gear loops all the way around it. So, I don't know if you got any footage of this, August, but yesterday, having the gear loops were super handy for the cabling. 
because he had two blocks hanging here, he had the scissors, he had a bunch of different things where it kept it outside the bag so you didn't have to dig through the bag and dig through the rope to get these extra little yeah. trinkety type. That wasn't yesterday though. Or day before yesterday? Just a detail. I think I got it on video, but it's better now that you mentioned it. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do a jumbo bag. A taller one even. I don't know. We'll see. Could you if custom we, order one? It depends one if on what people want. One. If they want a lot of three quarter rope, which um, that's fine. I, I think I, my I like five eighths rope, like through using stuff. I mean, we use three quarter rope for sure on the really big stuff, but if you have like pretty big stuff, like five eighths rope works so much smoother than a three quarter most of the time. That polydyne rope I have would probably barely fit in that, and that's yeah. two hundred foot. Yeah, it probably. That's barely. three quarter. Yeah. Which in most cases, it seems like when you're working with rope that big, it's not usually that long of sections. But we have it, you know, because you're usually getting down in the tree. Yeah. But we have that 200 foot for big old pole line. That's why we have that one. Yeah, that 200 long. feet of three quarter inch rope up in the tree. Well, we negative rigged with it. Yeah, no, it definitely has its place. Yeah. But I think it's like, if you're gonna carry a rope around with you every single day, you're gonna be a lot happier probably with a five eighths <laughs> and then bring in a three quarter when you absolutely need it. I'm happy with a half inch. Yeah, it's, and really yeah. still 90% of the time you're gonna be using yeah. half inch. Yeah, it's 10,000 pound breaking strength yeah. on that Husky half inch. Yeah. Rope. And if you were to rig with it in the same configuration that we rigged with those big ones, you know? Yeah. yeah. Double them up with two, oh, yeah. double them up with two rings mm -hmm. and rig them out like that. Mm hmm yeah all right thanks there's our uh, some of our new uh, thoughts and items for monkeybeaver.com good work today guys you too yeah even me that was epic mm -hmm. all right the camera shots mm-hmm I picked up a couple sticks I saw that yeah three tell us how we did in the comment section don't hold back thanks YouTube will not allow us to monetize any podcast videos that have dirty deeds playing in the background. Especially if they're done dirt cheap. Yes. Tell them what we're doing, Joe. Uh, what's your name? Damien? Jaden. Oh, yeah, Jaden. We're going to go do dirty deeds done dirt cheap. <laughs> the dirt cheap. Is that going to get flagged? <laughs> <laughs> We still get to use nice it. Nice cover. We still get to use it. <laughs> the done dirt cheap part is probably true. <laughs> well, for what we're probably gonna if we were just to go slay it, yeah. It'd probably be good. Yeah. But I have this feeling. We're gonna turn it into some kind of video production. Yeah. I did not bring a drone though. So how good could it be? Wow, that was smooth. Are you climbing? I don't know. We're gonna rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Ready? Yep. Wait. All three. All right. Well, we didn't get all. You could say I'm out. I wasn't sure if we were doing one on one, and then the winner of that hits another person, and then the winner of that hits. She another. guys just that stood there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna let Jeff or or Joe win, but I should be have a beat somebody else. Beat me real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what are you Just gonna pick? <laughs> All right. What'd you pick? I had, I had scissors. <laughs> oh, scissors. Yeah. Ready? All of us. All of yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Ready? You got something on your hat? Thanks. Your good luck charm. Probably a click beetle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, ready? ready? Dude. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, Jeff, you're, you're doing the speed lining. Oh, that was a quick run. <laughs> Dude, not looking good for you, man. You better warm up not your weight. Good. <laughs> All right, well, there's one cool job left. Okay, okay so we know you're not doing wood. Okay. Uh, now let's see who's 
let's see who's doing uh, the wood right okay. now. Okay. Dang. Dang, Joe's smartest. Joe's so smart, he <laughs> yeah, knows. Yeah, I have a track record of failing <laughs> yeah. at Rock City. Okay. So. Okay. All right. All right. Ah! <laughs> Joe's got the rigging. Okay. Better roll my window up for the for the hearing aiders. The hearing aiders. Yep. He's a hater. Yep. I'll have to call my lady back. You guys probably don't want me to uh, whisper sweet nothings to her right now. Not while you're driving. Yeah, it's pretty distracting. Yeah. You can only do one thing at a time. I don't want her getting you all worked up. Yeah, not with you in the truck. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Gonna have to call you later when I got my own personal time. Yeah. understand things differently usually I've noticed yeah. First of all, is it true? Do yeah. ladies understand things often different than dudes? I think they do. Okay. And I think it's because everybody is made for different purposes. Yeah, that sounds legit. Each unique to their own and just as important one can't replace the other. Right, and of course, we're not talking about uh, comprehensive stereotypes. We're just talking about generalizations. Yeah. Because I think there's probably a lot of things that us men aren't as good at as women. Like complaining? That's exactly what I meant. <laughs> That's mean. No, I can complain with the best of them. Yeah. But does it usually have a good cause at the time? I don't know. I don't know. Let me... Let me they let probably me... feel like they have a, just as good of a cause also. Oh, yeah. Probably anybody yeah. who's complaining. Uh, pick a most, subject. It's People love important. to complain. It's the most important thing at the time, yeah. People like complaining about politics. People like complaining about their aches and pains. People like to complain about us and how we do tree work. People like to say that you're not safe enough, that you're a bad influence. Some people might say that you're too safe. Yeah. You know there's somebody out there that seriously just... Like those people that wore scuba gear during corona in the grocery <laughs> line you might say they were too safe that might be too safe <sighs> they've got like a little filter at the end of their breather tube mm -hmm. which is just like an old dirty one of those rag. things out of an aquarium <laughs> <laughs> yeah. little rocks in it yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, boy. That was pretty fun. Yeah, so by what you're saying, a couple, a dude and a lady, would not be complete. They would not be their optimum 
itself independent of each other together if they were properly synergized they yeah. would actually make a more complete person yeah so like if they make a team oh yeah they make a team and we know that a team gets more done than just one yeah i'm sorry but i do not want to do tree work by myself no And like with raising kids, if your if your kid falls down and busts his knee open, you need a mom type to be a soft place to run to for the kid. Mm -hmm. And you need a dad type to be like, he's fine. Toughen him up a little bit. Not not because he's doing it to toughen him up, just because he's actually fine. He's fine. Yeah. He won't die. He yeah. won't die from the scratch. Yeah. But mom might convince the kid he would have died without all the love. Because you can see it plain and simple. That's actually an interesting point. You could end up with a dismal outlook on life without a good mom. Yeah. And you might go down some dark road. <clears throat> yeah. Interesting. Because in most cases... How is it that we're having such profound talk without a lady here? <laughs> It'd be interesting if there was a lady in here. Yeah, well, I think if there is, Because I it's would you. actually like to... <laughs> I would like to know what they say because I can't relate at all. Oh, I can't help you there. I mean, I, I guess I could try, but... <clears throat> I felt like I had a spider crawling on my ear. Probably. Well, I've been crawling around digging in the dirt on my lawn, and I get a lot of those black th things. They're like... They're supposedly not spiders, but they look kind of like Daddy Long Legs, but they're black. Anyway, they yeah. crawl all over me while I'm working. Oh, yeah. And I get a little bit creeped out, and fling them off and uh, have you ever noticed that they kind of smell yeah well daddy long legs smell big time if you smush, smush them they're gross yeah like if you just pick them up well I've smashed them oh no I don't do that years afterwards. no it's like never, it I've never like been that? a spider huffer <laughs> <laughs> whoops <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that'll do the trick yeah, a little pick me up. <laughs> you want to make sure it bites you down here, some right yeah. in here somewhere. Oh yeah, that drip. <laughs> <laughs> that puppy will be dripping for a week. <laughs> <laughs> That's gnarly, dude. I saw a uh, Instagram video where they poured peroxide in this lady's ear, and a spider came crawling out. Because he didn't like the peroxide. Okay. Yeah. It's like a funnel web spider. It yeah. Like, it, like, it like jumps out and catches other bugs and rips them back in and eats them. <laughs> Just what you need. More bugs in there. <laughs> yeah. You got an ant lion in your ear. Yeah. <laughs> building a slippery slope. Oh, that's... You could say I'm living a bug's life. <laughs> yeah. And the, the, the spider gets in there and grabs your hydraulic controls and drives you to where there's like a lot of mosquitoes. Oh, like on Ratatouille? <laughs> yeah, and then you're just like standing in this cloud of mosquitoes just so that it can reach. <laughs> it can reach. Yeah. Out and try to get more. Oh, man. Dude, yeah. I had a lot of mosquitoes at my house the other day. Bad management, spider management, bad resource management. Yeah, in this area, there's like a little window of time where the mosquitoes yeah. thrive, and then the heat just burns their wings off. Yeah. And then like, for the rest of the summer, they're gone. Yeah. I just picture the spiraling. With one wing. <laughs> yeah. Like on Star Wars. Up where I'm from in Alaska, there, there was... <coughs> they, they would freeze for nine months, but 
in the summer there wasn't no day that there wasn't mosquitoes thriving really yeah it's really weird how life is why it's like that you just have these constant pests well there were no poison venomous or whatever you say spiders there are no ticks I sat down and it was crawling on my table. I it was I think, maybe it was climbing on the bench, but it's like, oh, sorry, dude, you're going down. If you want to find ticks, just get a dog or a lizard or a lizard. Yeah. The whole conversation we had with the homeowners yesterday. Uh huh. Go, go catch one right now. Damien the says the that behind like, the yeah. ear hole of every lizard is ticks. Like usually like six of them uh -huh. on each side if we, if we see a lizard in this job site today i'll show you and you can so, zoom in on it yeah okay. show the viewers so lizards are 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 mis are ticks ticks like both cold and warm blooded mm -mm. blood yeah it's kind of like at the coffee barista do you want it iced would you like it hot? Yeah. Tick sitting there. So maybe if our other customers... Can I have it blended? If our other customers from yesterday are watching, maybe they won't have to catch the lizard because I will catch it and yeah. show them today. And then you will know the truth. Yeah. What's that nature show guy? You'll be him. Australian accent. Yeah. The British guy or whatever. Go ahead and put another lizard on the bobby. Nah, you no, nah, you're talking about the guy who got sh stabbed by the Stinger. fish. Yeah, no. Um, I'm oh, I'm talking about Attenborough. I don't know who that is. Oh, come on. Never even heard of him. All them logs that we stacked. Lauren Green? Wasn't he like a nature guy? Or maybe that was Bonanza. I don't remember. Born free? Oh, wow. There's a full on. Speaking of nature. There was like a deer party in the middle I of the know, They were all like. And I didn't get the camera around in time. There was like eight or something. Probably like eight of those. <laughs> I think those deer were like. In some kind of club. I think so. Somebody was about to get initiated. He was going to jump in front of a car, and if he lived, he was in the club. Yeah, you got to jump over the hood without getting hit by the window part. Uh huh. I bet them deer have ticks on them. Deer ticks. You know what? You should catch one of those deer if you want to impress those tick hunters. Tick hunters. I am the tick hunter. New cable show. Extreme tick hunting. Monkey people, dum dum. YouTube, your tick problem. See it right there? Hold on, hold on, I gotta oh, focus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't focus, hold on. Poor guy. Are you tick? gonna help him out? What about the other side? Yeah, you see it? Yeah, there's only one tick though. You said there'd be at least there usually Six. is. Let's see if there's any in this little armpit. <laughs> they abducted me. And Look, they there's a little one in his armpit right there. Armpits. Got another one. Nasty little critters. One right here.
Bummer, poor guy. They all have them? They all have them. They're probably immune to them. But, here's the cool thing about these little blue belly lizards. Ask him if he has Lyme disease. Get your lizard lips moving. Oh, wait, 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 little guy. Wait, little guy. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Does he go to sleep? Yeah. Like an alligator? They go to sleep? And then you can let go of them? Interesting. So now you're not pinching him anymore and he's still laying there. Now if he stops, does he just get up and run off? So, oh, a little to the left. Yeah. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Lizard life is Thank hard. You. Blue belly fence lizard. He's sleeping. Oh, he just woke up. You woke him up. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna <laughs> leave him and see what he does now. Okay. <clears throat> He's looking around a little yeah, bit. Got the camera. Hey, uh, you need to get something done today there, lizard. You want to run the rope? He's like, I was trying to get things done today until you got along. There he goes. He's like getting the tires or something. Yeah. He's fully tamed, dude. You're the lizard whisperer. Oh, he just looked at me kind of like those velociraptors look at you right before they kill you. He's gonna jump right out here or something. Hmm. Good job, Damien. You start your own nature channel. <laughs>